Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We notice a lot of trends inside of FC25, right? And the waves in which EA release content is definitely one of them. Think about the early game. This last first month of the game has been all about Syria. Some of the best SBCs and players linking together with Syria links. We're turning the page now. There's another meta, if you will, another trend being pushed with the recent content that has come out and also what's going to come out for the next month. We got to talk about that because it not only impacts our teams that we build and content that we see, but also prices on the market. I'm kind of only trading right now with one specific set of players because their prices are moving the most. Of course, we have a lot to discuss with Trailblazers team number two that was dropped yesterday, and we still have a few questions like, where's those Ballon d'Or cards that we saw, or at least the card design? When are those going to make an appearance, and what's going to happen today on Saturday in FC25? If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We have a lot to discuss from yesterday. Let's start by going to objectives, where we might have had the best objective card released of the entire year so far. Nuno Tavares, guys. This card looks good if you still have the Evo available for Trailblazer Turbo. It's even better. Pretty easy to get done, right? We have a lot of Serie A players in our teams. I have, at least. So I'm going to be able to get this done just by playing Rivals. And the card itself looks really solid for a left back. Three-star, four-star, rapid plus. But he does have Anticipate, which is nice. He has Whipped Pass uh, Regular, Quick Step as well, and Long Throw In. So it's not the most insane card Ever, but it's a very usable card as a left back or a left mid and he's got fullback plus plus attacking wingback plus false back he's got a lot of options there for rolls and of course this is what makes his card really crazy if you put him into that evo if it's still available for you he goes to 90 pace 86 dribbling 84 defending and 83 physical so really solid card here i still have that evo available just because i wanted to wait and see what was going to come out and i'm kind of glad that i did it's between this and uh, lukiba for me i never packed anthony robinson but that is i think the best objective card or one of the best at least top two or three that we've had so far this year that is a nice one and it's not that crazy to get done so make sure you go ahead and get that one done now also we have the daily play objective coming back you have to win one game each day to get the objective done now last week we had the Pulisic timed loan. This week we have Marmouche. Not a crazy card. I think Pulisic is probably better, but this one's pretty nice as well. Power Shot Plus. We'll look at his card in a little bit. There's also a thousand SP. Last week this didn't really matter because we were at the end of the season. This one actually matters. So we're definitely going to have to get this one done. The 80 plus times 10 is in here as well. And the group rewards in 84 times 3. So make sure you win one game each day and make sure you claim it right away. Last week, I got done dirty by this objective because I forgot to claim it and it sat there and I missed out on completing the rest of the objective since I didn't get that one done and I didn't claim it. So make sure you go ahead and do that. That was objectives yesterday. Let's talk about where we started to see the trends moving for content on this game by going to Evos, right? Yesterday was the biggest thing we were looking forward to was this Hey Jude evolution, right? The Jude Bellingham inspired Evo. And guys, honestly, this is a big Evo. I mean... It's crazy, though, how it kind of creates the cards. Like, all the cards that come out of this almost look exactly the same because of the stat limits. That's one thing that I'm noticing from this. I don't know if you guys did or not. This is really, really cool. The upgrades are insane. The playstyle plus is nice. The weak foot boost, the other playstyles that you get is really, really nice. But just notice how crazy similar a lot of the cards look that will come out of this. We'll talk about that in a second. First of all, I believe this Evo is somehow still glitched because there's a lot of people that have obtained everything or done all the things that you have to do. Basically, they've fulfilled the requirements. They've met the requirements to get this Evo, but it's not showing up. You have to claim it in-game, but I even know for a lot of people, it's not showing up for them to claim in-game. So hopefully EA, I mean, EA's been busy, guys. They tweeted out yesterday about the Rivals Rewards situation, people not getting the rewards. Didn't seem like it was that big of a thing, but it's actually becoming a bigger issue. EAFC Direct has been very busy uh, recently because there's been a lot of really small, annoying issues on this game, to be honest. And I think this Hey Jude Evo might be another one of those. But I want to show you guys some of the players you can create through this. The thing that keeps this evolution from being insane are the stat limits. And like I said, look at all these cards, man. Arda Guler, 80 pace. Every single one of these cards has 80, 80 pace on it and 85 shooting because that is the stat limit cap for the upgrades. Now, there are some crazy crackdowns in here. Like this Santi Cazorla card, tough to link, of course, but what a card for him. That's pretty emotional there. This Enteca card looks pretty good. Of course, you get the Relentless Playstyle Plus on the item. The Curtis Jones Inform does fit it. He looks good. Even Vidal 
fits this one, which is pretty sick. So again, it's, it's just kind of a crazy Evo because you can either take somebody who is a bronze, like this Arsenal player, a bronze card goes into intro to stat limits and then into Hey Jude and comes out with basically every stat limit like hit, 80 pace, 85 shooting, 82 passing, 85 dribble. He doesn't hit defense and physical, but that card looks almost the exact same as Paqueta, who ba barely gets an upgrade compared to that bronze card. That's the thing with this Evo is that it just creates kind of a similar player for everybody you know it's cool you're gonna have a different person you're gonna have different play styles but it, the stat limits i'm noticing are kind of limiting this evo from making it looking super cool so i think this evo is like a 7 out of 10 because i think the upgrades are sick but this evo might be best used on a lower rated uh, gold card or maybe a bronze or a silver that you want to boost up and make them usable and look forward to using them for a little bit longer throughout the year because it almost feels like a little bit of a waste at least to me to even put somebody like Lucas Paqueta into it because you're like okay that does make him a lot more usable than before but it's got to be an emotional player for you if you want to put them into this so I like this Evo but I also think it has a few downsides here or there and then of course there are some cards moving on the market uh, like Curtis Jones was up at 23,000 coins yesterday he's now back down because I don't think the Evo's like insane for him but it's still good so you have a card like that moving up a bit on the market let's talk about the other Evo that was dropped yesterday this is where we see a first push in evolutions for the French cards Le Bleu Evo we have here this one is really create creating some crazy pace stats for a lot of cards. If you look at the individual boosts here, you've got plus, where is it? Plus eight pace, but the max is 90. You get Tiki Taka, Bruiser, Trivella Plus. It's just, it's a wild conglomeration here of the different like play styles and stat boosts on these cards. Like, yeah, you can get an Upa Makano with 89 pace, which is like, oh my gosh, that's an insane pace for a center rack. Four star, four star as well. This looks like a sick upgrade for the stats. 99 short pass and 99 long pass for this Upamecano. That's insane. That is honestly insane. But then you're like, do I really want my Upamecano to have Tiki Taka and Trivella Plus? That really doesn't seem that hype for a center back. It's really weird how it boosts up the stats, but then the play styles don't necessarily fit the stats. So this evil, I think, is maybe not as high as rated for me as a 7 out of 10, but it's pushing a lot of people to go do it because you can create a Kalulu evil like this that if you kind of ignore the play styles a little bit, to some extent, you're creating some really insane cards with these stats. Like this Kalulu is one of the most popular ones. If you missed out on the Taram SBC, you could, well, not anymore, but the Octopus, which if you did put Taram into the Octopus, you can put him into this Le Blues now and get him to 90 pace. It's almost better than his SBC card. I think people that are looking for a more Trivella Plus friendly option here are going for Matisse Tell. And then I'm probably, if I can get a hold of this card, going to go for Odobert here and get a version like this for him. Hopefully get him to 90 pace and then boost up that shooting a good bit too. I won't have the intro to stat limits, but... I don't know. This Evo for me is a bit limiting because you have to be a French player, but it is kind of pushing along that new trend because a lot of people see a Kalulu or a Konate or an Oob Makano like that and they say, man, an 89 pace or a 90 pace center back, I want a part of that in my club. Now, of course, the French hype has been coming, right? We had the Sissoko card that was dropped literally one week ago today. This is what really started a lot of the French hype like this last week, but it looks like it's going to be continuing as well, right? The world tour that we have this season and the whole part of Centurion's season number two with these world tour cards is it's French, right? We've got Taliso who's in the season pass. We had the Tovan SBC that was released. And of course we have three French cards that are in the team as well. And you can tell by the market that this is kind of just where the market is moving. Like Julie was 50 K on Monday. He went all the way to 73,000 coins yesterday. And that's why I was saying I'm only trading with specific cards in this market right now because stuff that is moving the best are French cards because people are buying French cards to link together, especially a guy like Sissoko, who's a bit harder to link. But French cards are not always that hard to link anyway. But like right now, those players on the market that link those other French cards together are just going for a premium and they're being bought and sold a whole lot more. So it makes for an incredible trading opportunity. And you guys know, like when they kind of are pushing an agenda or pushing a trend, if you will, like when we had all those Syria cards, 
it kind of just lingers for a little while. And it, it's like, okay, EA's dropping this good SBC here. They're dropping another one for a French player. I think we're going to see more French players upcoming. There's not necessarily any outstanding leaks at the moment for that, but it just feels like that's the way they're going to keep slowly moving, not with every single SBC player, because of course we even have some Bundesliga hype with Musiala and one of the players in packs from yesterday, but it just feels like French is kind of that next move. So you're seeing those French cards like the Pires we look at here, who's 350k. Last week, this card was 300,000 coins. Well, People need French links now, so he's almost 50,000 coins up from where he was. That is one thing to watch for. Even this Desai, the market crashed last week. Bro didn't. He went up. He's now the highest that he's ever been for this last week. Still 900,000 coins plus because people need the French link. So definitely keep an eye on that corner and that part of the market, and there might be more content to come with that. That's kind of like the, the trend that EA is moving on at the moment. Now, let's talk about the SBC content from yesterday, which of course includes, firstly, a player of the month that was su surprisingly priced pretty cheap. I'm going to be honest, this is not a bad SBC. When I saw the price, I was kind of taken aback for a second. Yeah, the card isn't the most meta, but if you're a Barca fan, this is a must do. I'll be honest. Power header plus, they changed it from chip shot, which is good. In my opinion, he's got incisive finesse power shot regular first touch and Trivella 92 finishing 92 attack positioning false nine plus plus. Now, when I tried out Lewandowski, I wasn't a huge fan of him personally. I thought it was a bit clunky, but if you need a false nine roll, he can pass, man. He can pass at least decently well. Maybe you need an engine on this card to boost that up a little bit more. But for 200,000 coins or 219k, that is not bad. That is really not bad. If you compare that card to his total rush, it's not that different. And the total rush is 700k or just below that. So I think that SBC is pretty solid. And if you're a Barca fan or if you did Rafinha, that might be just a decent card you work toward to link them up and get them together. Now, of course, let's talk about the big name card, the one that we were excited about, looking forward to, Musiala. This SBC, I think, just seems pricey. Is it overpriced is the question I keep asking myself. If this card was on the market, would he be 480 or 500,000 coins like the SBC is shaking up to be right now with the nine squads that are required? Once again, EA is going for a lot of squads, low rating here for this card. Five-star skills, this is the biggest part of the boost for him, right? Plus four shooting and plus five passing and then plus one everywhere else. That's a, or plus two pace. That's a pretty sizable upgrade in that shooting and that passing category. But I think one of the reasons why maybe some people are not liking it, you see the like to dislike ratio here, 1400 down votes, 700 up votes. I think it's because the linkability. There hasn't been a lot of Bundesliga hype yet this year, and maybe this is the start of it. Maybe this SBC will become a really good card. His play styles look great. He's got Trickster. He's got Relentless. Tiki, or they kept the Technical Plus. They also has Tiki Taka and Incisive. We were wondering if they were going to change his play style plus. Kind of glad that they didn't, because that one's very hype for him. And he's got Shadow Striker plus plus as well. Yeah, it's really just the shooting and the passing boost and the ability that he has to play either a cam, a center mid, or a left mid roll with a plus roll in each of those, if not a plus plus for cam. I don't know if I like it, but now after saying I was going to wait to see what Musiala was to figure out if I'm going to do Robbie Keane or him, I kind of lead towards Robbie Keane right now just because he's cheaper. Yeah, he's still eight squads, but it's less fodder to put into an SBC, and I don't feel like I'm going to be missing out if I miss out on Musiala. So you kind of have to make the decision for yourself. This is like a card that you want to kind of go into and say, I want to put this player to my team as a cam or a box-to-box -box CM that I could use for a while. If I have links for him, then go for it. It's just not its not as insane as Rafinha, I don't even think. I think it's good. I think Rafinha was maybe better, though. I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments what you think about Musiala, but if, I think for most people, it doesn't move the needle for a number of reasons. 81 plus Team of the Week upgrade was released once again this week on Friday, as it is every week, and then a Trailblazers Challenge 4 is the SBC content from yesterday. Now, since we're talking SBCs, Let's talk about fodder because fodder, of course, dropped a little bit as we got past the content drop as there were some store packs that were tradable. A little bit of extra supply there in the store. Not a crazy amount, but maybe a little more than expected. Fodder's not down that much, though. Like, of course, these 85s did reach peaks of maybe 6.5 
thousand coins before content yesterday and they've been kind of dropping since but they're only down to 5.8 K I think as we near the icon pack going away these cards are probably going to drop some more and I know a lot of you guys are going to be looking to invest once again this week because we're probably going to get another pack on Sunday whether it be a hero pack which I think it might be a hero pack with no maximum rating that is the pack that's been added to the code most recently it's just a base hero pack and it was added just a couple days ago so we would expect maybe that that would come out on sunday but ahead of that preparing for it do we need to invest in fodder right now honestly i think maybe you just stock a little bit in the club if you want to do that but maybe the way to go about it is waiting until we get to later in tonight, late tonight, Saturday night, early tomorrow on Sunday with squad battle rewards because that always brings supply. And you guys know me, I like buying fodder when it's either being panic sold or when it's being supplied because then you have the best opportunity to buy for low prices. Yesterday, of course, fodder on a promo Friday, always good to trade with. You can always get on fodder bids and flip cards. That's easy coins. If you sit there and grind the market, I know it's a bit tedious and annoying, but it's easy coins every single week. I think I would wait to buy fodder until we get to tomorrow. Let's see if it drops more today. It's not like there's going to be a new SBC coming out today for a pack that we would expect to move things too much. This icons, you know, got one day left. Most people have probably done it that are already going to go ahead and do it. So I think for 85 to 88 rated, if you want to buy again this week, and if fodder has a chance to go up for a third week in a row, I want to see it go down just a little bit. I want to see it go down. A, a base hero pack would be very hype with no capped rating because then you can get those top tier heroes that have not been packable yet. But I want to see fodder maybe drop down just a little bit more before we get to that. Now, let's talk about team two of this promo team, Trailblazers team two that was dropped yesterday. I'm sitting here looking at this team going... I don't think it's better than Team 1. It's good. There's some gems. Marmouche, he's a gem. Power Shot Plus, love the change there. Fun card to try, right? Usman Dembele, really nice card. That 80 shooting is nice there. Trinity Rodman, might be one of the most overpriced cards in the game at the moment. Yeah, sure, I get it. Trickster Plus for me, eh, it is what it is. I know it's very meta. People like the, the animations and the fake shots. The price, though, 900 k for simple plus ones over her inform, which is 300000 it's a bit steep. There was a lot of cards that were extinct once again yesterday. Another backup on the market. Uh, Bremer seems pretty expensive for me, although he did get a nice boost. Plus three, plus two in some areas, plus one pace. I mean, I think this card should be under 500,000 coins. If you compare him to Tomori, you know, 89 defending and 88 physical is very high. And he does have um, intercept, bruiser, and aerial. Long ball pass two. It's a good card. Don't get me wrong. I think these cards, as they usually are on the first day of the promo, though, a bit overpriced. They are fluctuating pretty good. But one thing we saw last week, right, was remember all the fodder cards went up a bunch on Saturday because people were buying them to do the objective. That shouldn't be the case this time around because people, of course, have Trailblazer still in the club. So maybe see a bit of a bounce on some of these. Also, this card is going to be a card later on down the line that might be very useful. French goalkeeper special card with uh, footwork plus as a playstyle plus and a lot of other good playstyles and 80 reactions this is a good keeper so keep an eye out for this if you pack him that actually might be a nice discard item to have or maybe buy one and put in the club just ho hold on to for a while so there's a lot of fodder in this team there are a couple gems though i think this zakaria tougher to link but kind of a gem like look at the freaking stats on that card really good card 90 physical i just kind of think to myself imagine he could play center back That'd be a nuts center back. He's got pinged pass, tiki taka, anticipate, and acrobatic. And then, of course, for the rolls, he's got holding plus plus as a DM. Still a bit expensive to me, but that's a decent card. This is the best card out of the whole promo team, hands down, for the price. Grimaldo, a budget. This is the best left back in the Bundesliga, and he's 55K. Like, Grimaldo got his pace back, guys. He got plus 13 pace, and the upgrade on the rest of the card is decent. Plus fours and plus five in the shooting. He keeps the whipped pass plus, and he's even got attacking wing back plus plus, right? Yeah, attacking wing back plus plus is a left back. You can use him as a left mid. I used him yesterday in game. He even has finesse shot. He's got technical, intercept, relentless, insane card. Now, the problem is, if you take a look at his item on the market, he has got supply for days. I'm saying this card is cheap, but I'm not telling you to buy because, my goodness, he might fluctuate a little bit. He might move around in price. He might go from 50 to 60K, but I think later on this weekend, he would go low because man if you just like compare price on the card 
and flip through all the pages that there are. You could be here for hours, man. Okay, that's glitched. Wow, EA, great time to do that for me. Show me a glitched market search. But if you compare price, usually you don't get a glitch search here. And you could just go for ages on how many pages of supply this card has after being in packs for one day. Again, he is the best left back in the Bundesliga, especially on a budget. So I think this card has some promise, but maybe it's an investment later on during the week at like rivals rewards. Because man, if you're going to run a Bundesliga team, that dude's going to be your left back. It's Grimaldo. He's going to be that guy. So the team itself, there are a couple other gems in here too. Vinny's insane. I think Pop is actually a decent card for 300,000 coins. That one's noticeable there. Lucy Bronze might be nice for a low budget uh, link as well if you need women's Super League links. This Milo card, 45k, I'd expect him to drop, but he looks pretty decent as well. It's not an insane team. It's not as good as Team 1 even in my opinion, but it is decent now let's talk for the rest of the market right i talked about trading with french cards yesterday i bought this blanc for 971 sold it for 1.05 and right after the content drop you guys maybe saw on the tfa2 rtg episode we bought these right around 400k because i was like man the market yesterday since the content wasn't that crazy and french links were all the rage and all the hype I just went out and bought some cards that had French links or maybe even had some links to Musiala. One of the cards that went up yesterday, and this graph right here just shows exactly how the market moved on out-of-pack specials, was this Harry Kane. 680K, he actually went to 732 on the graph here. He was selling at 750 plus. Couple sold at 780 on the market. I was watching it happen yesterday after the content drop. A lot of cards from out-of-packs. Trailblazers Team 1, they went up, right? They're back down just a smidge now. Gabriel was 370. I'm still holding mine. Holland was over 1.4. Palmer was over one uh, was over 500,000 coins. Kavicha is up in price. And like out of packs cards, like Shumeni is back down to 560. I was almost tempted to buy him just a bit ago because he was 550. Went all the way back up to 590. And he was down to 538. Wow, I missed out. That was a really great opportunity to buy. But even cards like this Frankie de Jong moving crazy yesterday. Look at the content drop, 1.1 mil, huge spike in the hour or two after content as people went back out and started buying players for their teams. That was the best opportunity to trade in and out of yesterday was the crazy spike after content when people saw what was released and was like, eh, it's okay. I'm going to go buy my team and play weekend league. So I'm not loving how the market feels though after that bounce because it's not like the market bounced and it stayed up. It's like the market bounced and then kind of came back down for a lot of the cards. Some of them are still up. But as I look through some player prices now, I still, like this Griezmann, if I can get a million coins, this card for a million flat, I think is a good trade. He bounces up to almost 1.1 almost all the time. That's a good 50k profit or 45k profit trade there if you get a snipe. The French cards I like, the out-of-packs rare special cards that I like, but gold cards I think I really would not want to mess with too much like they're not down as much as they are in previous weeks Fede Valverde is 350 still and I sold them for 360 at the rivals rewards usually you see pretty sizable drop-offs on Fridays after a promo I mean sun's down 15k I think there are more drops coming today that's just honestly how I feel since the market didn't move as much yesterday there's one it wasn't as much maybe panic if you will I don't know how I feel especially about gold cards today if you want to trade stick to the icons stick to the heroes stick to the out of pack special cards that are rare and that keep fluctuating especially for the French links or maybe even some of the La Liga links with people still trying to fit in Rafinha to a team maybe with the new Lewandowski as well. Those are the sort of things that I'd be trading with today in this game if you're going to flip cards, but not really a time where we're going to hold cards, I don't think. But also, I don't expect a market crash like we saw last week as well. I bought some Lisa Razus yesterday. He's a card that I'm holding on to because French links and Bundesliga. He's got the best of both worlds. He's still hovering around the same price. I bought him for 300K. He's still like right now, 305 to 310. He, he gets listed up at 300, but that's like a left back that links kind of everything at the moment. And I think that card's going to maintain some of its value and hopefully rise throughout the weekend still. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Trading with the cards that are out of packs. I still have my Gabriel. I did buy a Grimaldo yesterday to flip and he hasn't sold yet. But that's kind of what I would do if I'm looking at the market. Just be careful with gold cards 100%. Now let's talk about today's content on Saturday because we actually maybe have a change this Saturday today like compared to other weeks because the past few weeks on Saturdays during the whole first season, it was all about the foundations cards, right? Aldasari last Saturday, of course, we had Sissoko, but now we're transitioning into the new season. So did they release all the different leagues of these squad foundations that they were planning 
to do so. That's kind of my question at the moment. I, my, I hope we're done with squad foundations personally. Um, we've got almost all the leagues that I can think of. I don't know. Maybe we're missing a couple. So I guess we're looking forward to that maybe today. Just as a, maybe it's something that's coming, but it also could be done. One thing I would expect today is Evo content, right? Normally, when Evos are working, which they are now, we get Evos on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So I would imagine we get another evolution today inside of here. And I do believe there's an Evo. The Guti, uh, the Guti Evo is expiring tomorrow. And what is it? Ooh, Slow It Down is expiring today. So maybe Last Call. Yo, I got to put somebody into this. Yeah, I'm going to have to put somebody into the Slow It Down Evo because that's a pretty good one to boost the pace up. That's a, that's a really important one for an Evo on a center back. So I got to get that one up here. Relentless and Bruiser. Yeah, I got to put somebody into that one to side. Maybe check for your club too if you haven't. But maybe a new Evo today. I would expect to see that. Last Saturday, of course, was the day that we had four new Evos on the same day as Evos were returning and they were fixed. I would imagine we get some Evo content today too. Maybe a Rush event because EA said that the whole point um, of Rush this week was going to be new and improved events. We have a World Tour of France that is up right now. Overall, Max 88. I would assume that we get some sort of Rush event this weekend since we didn't get one yesterday that's like a limited time mode. And then the real only other thing that we know is coming today is the opportunity to get this objective done. The FC Pro uh, Open Qualifier Day 1 is today, November 2nd. So if you watch the stream, if you have your Twitch and your YouTube account linked, you can get those free packs like we mentioned. And then also we will have uh, the other rewards, which includes if you watch it both the next two days, you'll get a 100K pack on tradable. So it's worth doing. Turn it on, leave it open in a tab for 60 minutes. That's how much you have to watch uh, today and tomorrow. But if you do that, it's an easy 100K pack and also two prime gold players packs and some SP as we move up through the season. So other than that, I'm not expecting a crazy day today. We still have no news about this. This could be something that changes the trajectory of how hype a Saturday looks on FC 25 today, or maybe another player SBC leak. Maybe it's another uh, moments SBC like we had for Garassi last week. That could change, um, you know, maybe some hype for today too. I'm not going to have a huge expectation for Saturdays because Saturdays haven't been that crazy, but maybe there will be something related to this. Maybe there will be some other leaks. Keep an eye on Twitter just uh, in case, of course, something crazy were to happen there. But it's going to be probably just a day where a lot of you guys are grinding champs, getting some progress in this game, and uh, and in enjoying maybe some of the pro event if you're going to watch some of that too. So, yeah, guys, that's kind of the video for right now. I mean, Trailblazers Team 2 falling a little bit flat. The Evos were probably the biggest thing yesterday with the objective player. And the SBCs, Lewandowski's fine. Musial is fine. It seems like Promo Fridays, we were talking about this yesterday in the stream, it's just like Promo Fridays have kind of lost their spice for some reason, you know? Like, I don't know what it is with the promo so far to start off this year. I am less and less excited for the promo cards in packs. Like, used to be, that's what you looked at. Like, oh, what's in packs? What do we have a chance to get? But it just feels like that we don't have any chance and like any of these cards so it's like well we go to look at uh, sbcs and evolutions and objectives and that's what carries the content on a promo friday now and less the cards that are in packs since they feel so unobtainable even though you look at the trailblazer supply on the market and you say wow these guys get packed a lot more not for me. I don't know if it's for you guys, but hopefully you guys are packing them and I'm just getting unlucky. But we're going to keep chasing them this week with good rewards, weekly rewards, hopefully a new and improved. I want to get better than seven wins. I'll be honest. I am looking to redo my team in terms of tactics. So maybe down below, drop a comment uh, with a tactics, even just a formation. If you've been enjoying something recently, that doesn't have to be a code or anything, but just tell me what formation you're using because I'm looking to try something different and try something to mix it up a little bit with the players that we got. I'll fit the players to the formation. That's probably the way that we'll go for it. Anyways, I'll stop yapping. Have a great Saturday. Enjoy the footy that's going on today. Have a good time on this game if you're playing it. And I will see you guys in a YouTube video tomorrow. It's been Nate Foot Account. Have a great Saturday. Peace. Out.